So I'm Jonathan Hamm, uh, and so I uh, work in the aeronautics department here at MIT, and I'm also a so I am the uh, chair of the graduate committee uh, in the department, and also on the graduate committee for the institute as well. So it turns out my dad was in the Royal Air Force, uh, and so as a kid, I spent a lot of time at air bases. Uh, so I grew up around airplanes, and was always fascinated by things flying. Uh, and then we moved to Canada when I was a, a young kid um, and spent time there. Uh, you know, again, at that point, sort of disconnected from, from aerospace vehicles. Uh, my dad was in sort of finance, but again, I was fascinated by flight. Uh, so some kids sort of interested in becoming astronauts as, as, when they grow up, and I was more interested in just sort of engineering and the mechanics of things. Um, got into the applied math uh, as, as an undergraduate, and then that sort of naturally led to aerospace as a as a direction to go. So it's sort of a nice sort of combination of, of interest in terms of flight and, and also interest in terms of math. You know, again, when you're thinking about grad school, so again, I was in Canada undergrad uh, and spent time there in the aerospace field as um, working uh, for some industries locally, uh, but then decided, uh, wasn't really sure what I wanted to do in terms of the future. Grad school seemed like a, a, an opportunity to sort of give me more sort of choices. Uh, and then started thinking about either staying in Canada or coming to the U.S. And, and MIT offered me a position that's hard to turn down, right? So, so, that's, so that was back in the 80s, came here and then uh, stayed here basically until postdoc. Um, my research interests uh, have been thinking about multi-vehicle work for many, many years. So in fact, when, even when I was a student, I worked on decentralized control. So thinking about control at, at sort of you know, in a distributed sense. Uh, in thinking at that time in space structures, that was the, the, the primary interest thing, people working on space telescopes. So in, in fact, some of the segmented telescopes that are slung for the James Webb telescope, that type of idea was being, dis was being investigated at a research level back in the 80s when I was a student. So that naturally led to then thinking about uh, multi-vehicle work. And so in fact, when I was at Stanford as a junior faculty member there, when I started out, was thinking about distributed space telescopes, so multiple vehicles, thinking about a distributed fashion, but in space. Uh, then when I moved to the MIT in around 2000, started then thinking about uh, distributed UAV work. So it, that was the time when there was a lot of interest in the Air Force about using UAVs, and that led to sort of ideas of uh, multiple assets and working together to, uh, to perform the mission. So, so my interests are sort of focused primarily multi-vehicle, but then thinking about all the different aspects of autonomy. So sensing, control, planning, and things like that. And so, so I sort of span that entire space with a particular focus on multi-vehicle work.